Hello, Wealthy family, and welcome to today's video. Thank you for coming and sharing some time with me. I love and appreciate you all. I am uh, on the way back home from a lunch date, and the conversation that I was having um, is like a conversation conversation I've found myself having with different people, right? They don't know each other, just different people. It keeps coming up, and it's about masks, right? How many different mask are you wearing how are you wearing the mask of who you think people think you should be are you wearing the mask of who you think you should be around people are you wearing the mask of who you think your parents or whoever it is that raised you like how many different masks are you wearing how many different personalities are you embodying <laughs> okay how many different versions of yourself do you find yourself playing and it's something we all do like we're all I don't want to say guilty of this but we're all capable of this right and many of this many of us do this without thinking right we we move in a way that we like to interact with people's energy and sometimes when we feel that we have to behave a certain way to keep interacting with these individuals energy then it's hard to take it off, right? Instead of thinking, I can just be who I am all the time, everywhere, and just have people adapt, we tend to fall into the scenario of, I have to kind of change up who I am because this person likes this way, or, you know, they don't like, um, or you may feel they don't like something, so you try to change up to fit their image of you right or their thought process of you right it's like people it's like kids when they want to have friends so you know young kids just going around the playground yeah I like to do this da 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 da, da. oh I like to eat mud and they're like oh you like to eat mud like that's nasty which it is right the kids shouldn't be eating mud but now that kid takes in shame and they're like oh I'm just playing I don't like to eat mud right and now they have to hide and become something different. So now when they're around those people, right, those friends, no, I don't like to eat mud. But secretly, they still do, right? You take that into adulthood with you. And you start putting on different masks and you start performing certain ways because you want to keep the company of individuals, right? There's so many people in marriages that are like, you know, I just do this because this is what my spouse likes, or I just go this way because this is what my um, spouse likes to do. I don't really enjoy doing that, right? Or they feel, oh, good, he went to sleep. I was waiting for him to do that. Um, or they may feel that they can't uh, do a certain thing because they wouldn't have the support, but you want the support, you want the love, you want the companionship of your spouse. So you'll do whatever it, you have to do to keep them happy be, or what you think you need to do to keep them happy all while being untrue to yourself, okay? So a lot of people conformed a couple years ago and put the mask on because it was something that made them feel safe it was something that felt natural because they're naturally wearing masks every single day already. I was talking to my mom and she was telling me that she broke one of her teeth and she was so embarrassed she put her mask back on, right? Because she couldn't get into the dentist right away. Right now it's fixed. She got her, her tooth fixed and it's good. But she was so easily conformed putting that mask back on. I said, don't you feel hot? Don't you feel suffocated when you have on? Yeah, but I can't bear the embarrassment. I'm like, bear the embarrassment? Who cares? <laughs> They're like, you're 70 freaking years old. All right, I'm in my 30s and I have teeth that's breaking. So <laughs> what's that say, right? But sometimes to spare the embarrassment or to keep yourself in the company of those that you feel you want to be in the company of, you put mask on so you can conform a certain way and you lose authentically who you are. You lose how to get in touch with self. So my message to you today, I was going to quote the wise words of future, mask off, take the fucking mask off, but I'm going to leave you with these beautiful words instead, okay? Allow yourself to be the ever-evolving, ascending, growing, spiritual being that you are in an unapologetic manner. Because when you do things unapologetically, it allows other people to live unapologetically as well. It allows other people... 
touch card. It allows other people to see that it's okay to be different, to break out of the pact. Sometimes they're just waiting for someone to do it first. All right. That's how we, the three minute mile was run, right? Because before it was, nope, no one can do that. It's not possible. And then once someone did do it, now it's, oh, it is possible. And once you know that something is possible, you now are giving yourself permission to do it. So when you live authentically, when you declare, I do like not eating mud, it's nasty, I really shouldn't do it, but I like it for whatever reason. Maybe we should look deeper into why you like eating mud and all the other children, what's happening? What type of efficiency do you have while you're drawn to eating an inanimate object, right? Instead of trying to hide it, let's get to the root of it and make a whole club about it, <laughs> right? Let's all get together so people stop feeling so alone. Okay, it's okay to be an individual, be authentic, still be part of the herd, and still have individuality. It is possible, but take the fucking mask off. I guess I am quoting future anyway. Take it off. Take it off. It gets tiring, and then after a while, you start losing the the different, you know, personas who you are. You start falling into those, then you lose who you are authentically in your hearts of hearts. Okay, so. That's it. That's all I wanted to share with you all. I love and appreciate you all. Very, 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 very quick video today. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are being aware. <laughs> I hope you're keeping up to date, but you're keeping yourself protected at the same time because right now things are moving at exponential speeds and you do not want to get caught up in it for free. Okay, so until we connect again, Stay alert, stay aware, and live in love. Peace.